major mm -hmm. here at UCSD. I founded a startup called Giventure in my freshman year, and we manage volunteer coordination for nonprofits, and we help people find community service opportunities in their area. No, I started off as a bioengineering bioinformatics major. So the majors are actually really similar. The bioinformatics majors across all the departments it's offered in, including mm -hmm. the biology department, have the same core requirements. It's more about the um, the extra, the technical electives mm -hmm. that depend on the major, that, or sorry, that depend on the department you're a part of. So I wanted more of a computer science focus in my major, so that's why I switched to the computer science department. Yeah, um, I took CSC 11 with Professor Rick Ord, and he told me that if I'm interested in this computer science side at all, it would really help to have a computer science degree on my resume. So that was the main reason why I changed. I also went to a couple of career fairs, spoke to recruiters, and found that having computer science in a resume really did make a difference when trying to find a software position. So I have a very roundabout path to computer science because I started off wanting to be an astrophysicist in high school. I ended up doing an internship where they gave me a bioengineering um, job, and I really loved bioengineering, so I applied as bioengineering at UCSD. And that was what I wanted to do. I wanted to go into like medical devices, and um, I thought that bioengineering was the best way to do that. But I chose the specialization in bioinformatics because there are three. There's bioengineering um, by itself, biotechnology, and bioinformatics. I chose bioinformatics because it had the word genetics in the description, and I didn't realize that it was a more computational um, approach to genetics. I thought it was more about the um, I thought it was more along the lines of like genetic counseling, but it was actually you know more about data processing. And so you know I got admitted to UCSD. I took my first set of classes, and I just fell in love with the computer science side of it. The reason why I didn't switch fully to computer science at that point was because I still wanted to have that option to go into medical devices later if I wanted to. Um, my initial plan was to go to grad school after undergrad, and so I wanted to leave the options open for that to be able to pursue different fields if I chose. So I worked at Microsoft the past two summers mm -hmm. up in Seattle, and the first summer I was working on um, search. I created a mobile app to help the... Sorry, I'm doing a terrible job explaining this. It was a while back. <laughs> Um, I created a mobile app for account administrators to manage their Bing Ads accounts um, on the go. And this past summer, I was working on a calendar or a meeting uh, scheduling program that plugged into Outlook. And so they're very, you know, uh, front-facing consumer software uh, type projects. So it, there wasn't, you know, a direct application to the bioinformatics side of my major, but it definitely did help. Um, because just the view of, you know, having the knowledge of how you process large amounts of data efficiently and how um, all the components of the application need to talk to each other well, um, that was, you know, it was all stuff that I learned here at UCSD through my major, and I was able to apply it over the summer. Kind of an accident, honestly. Uh -huh. um, I, so in my freshman year, I had been tossing around this idea because I had done a research project um, but you get you know, class credits for uh, participating in clinical trials on campus. Mm -hmm. So I had taken COGS 11, I think, as part of my MIR GE requirements. And they gave me credit for working or for uh, participating in this research project that involved me going and sitting in a room with um, headphones on playing white noise while I was reading books. And the book that they had me read was called Reality is Broken How Video Games Have the Power to Change the World. And it was about how you can gamify different things to make them more appealing to people. So the book, one of the examples they gave was about gamifying chores at home. So you get points for cleaning the toilet and things like that. And so I was tossing around ideas for you know, how I could apply that to uh, things that I do in my regular life. And I thought it'd be a really cool application to, um, to try and gamify volunteer work and doing good mm -hmm. to try and incentivize people to get back to their communities. Um, we do have a lot of volunteer events on campus, but I realized that I only knew about them because I was relatively connected, and you know I was a part of a lot of different organizations, so I, I got to hear about them. But a lot of my friends, you know, weren't a part of different clubs, or they didn't really, you know, go out and look for these things, so they didn't know about these opportunities. So um, I was tossing around an idea for like a mobile app that could mm -hmm. solve that problem, and I was procrastinating studying for finals one day, and. A, a sponsored post from Microsoft showed up on my newsfeed, 
um, saying that I could get $2,500 for you know, a potential idea. So I decided to apply for it, and that was how it all got started. Um, I thought that bioinformatics was... So, okay, let's see. So coming into college, I thought that bioinformatics was much more bioengineering focused, and I found that a lot of the major is, is focused on the computational side of it. So, you know, just the choice of major alone pushed me more to the computer science side of it. So that was something I wasn't expecting because I thought that, um, you know, a bioinformatics major would allow me, I thought that it was an avenue into medical devices, which it partially is if you want to take that, um, if you want to take classes that are centered around that for your technical electives, but I didn't choose to, so I didn't get that focus. Um, I realized that bioinformatics is... It's not, um, I don't think it's a major where just doing four years of undergrad is enough if you really want to get into it because a lot of the research being done, it's still in the early stages. Bioinformatics is, it's a growing field and I didn't realize how young it was and how much more work needed to be done there. So there's some really incredible opportunities in industry and in research. So it helps to have a more solid foundation. So, you know, going um, getting you know either a master's or a PhD would help a lot for people who actually want to pursue that later. I that was the initial plan actually up until just a few months ago. I was planning on um, you know taking the GRE, going, getting my master's. Mm -hmm. But GiveVenture is at a point now where I would like to pursue it full time after college. So that's the main reason why I haven't uh, pursued the bioinformatics side of my major more. So I'm kind of an anomaly there. Most of the other people in the department are applying for grad school or MD programs right now. Mm -hmm. okay. um, we have some really incredible networking opportunities on campus. So the business school hosts a lot of really great, um, you know, like women in business or have entrepreneurship geared towards engineer type events. So I was a part of the My Startup XX program at the Radio School, and it's specifically for female engineers looking to form companies around their technical experience. So it was, it's a very niche group, and there were only I think, seven or eight of us in the program last year, but it was an incredible experience. It really opened my eyes to what was possible mm -hmm. as a UCSD student because they gave us access to all the resources that are available here mm -hmm. that I didn't necessarily know about before. And um, they also put us in touch with some amazing faculty here. We have top-of-notch faculty in pretty much every department out there. When you go to the business school, you have people who have founded these amazing, incredible companies. Um, our researchers are, you know, they've won like Nobel Prizes and they're all you know, at the top of their field. Mm -hmm. So it was really great. Whether I had questions on the entrepreneurship side or the computer science side or marketing, there was always something I could go to. So, um, so I pursued my classes a little bit differently. I know we were all given a standard four-year plan and it was a really great starting point for me, but I decided I, want to, I wanted to kind of hurry up the curriculum a little bit, so I pushed a lot of my later classes earlier on and I left my freshman year GEs for my senior year. Mm -hmm. So it meant that by the time I was, you know, in the last quarter of my sophomore year, early quarter, or first quarter of my junior year, I'd already taken a lot of the classes that seniors were taking. Um, so that gave me a lot of the knowledge ahead of time. Um, yeah, so I was able to, you know, focus on my grades and my classes a lot earlier on so that later, um, meaning now, so in my senior year, I can really focus on entrepreneurship because the classes I'm taking mm -hmm. are a lot easier. Yeah, but it definitely was a struggle towards the end of last year when, you know, there was still a little bit of overlap where I had to do a lot of work for my company, but I was also taking um, time-consuming classes. There was one quarter where I took five upper division classes at the same time, and that was incredibly stressful, and I don't recommend that. Um, but, you know, it helped me learn to manage my time a lot better when you have deadlines coming up, you're forced to meet them. And the professors were also really great. I went and talked to each one of them and said, here's my situation, help me, just what do I do? And they helped me um, kind of balance the load and figure out how to, you know, get everything done. I regret not doing a study abroad. That is my biggest regret. I think it's a really, really great opportunity and a lot of my close friends have done it. That's the only thing I wish I could go back and do. And I would do it for maybe summer year, oh, sorry, the summer quarter of my freshman year because I think that's the best time when you don't necessarily have internships lined up because you might not have enough experience. 
Yeah, and you have the most free time on your hands. Yeah, that is my, my biggest college regret. I know someone who switched his major after two years and was still able to finish on time. So, you know, it's not the end of the world if at the end of your sophomore year you still don't know what you want to do. Um, I was still questioning my major, you know, sophomore and junior year even, and that's pretty late into it. But no matter what you do, you will find random applications for your major in whatever you decide to do later. So if you do decide that it's not conceivable to actually switch a major by the time you realize what you want to do, just take on a minor in the subject that you're actually interested in. And nine times out of ten, whatever you're actually studying will, will be applicable in some way. And also make sure you take advantage of the resources that are available here, because if you post up on any of the UCSD Facebook groups, there's always someone who answers your question if you want to know about a particular major. You can go talk to professors, they're all extremely accessible. All of them have you know, office hours that you can just walk into, or sometimes even outside of that, I've just walked into professors' offices and mm -hmm. start up conversations. So definitely just ask. If you're not sure, someone will be able to help you find the right direction.